So I've put two uh, Nintendo 64 games on here. Uh, let's just restart emulation station so that they show up. And one thing, I ha another thing I've noticed about this tinkerboard is it gets really, really warm, and I haven't got a case for it yet, so I'm kind of waiting on that. So yeah, then Nintendo 64 emulation, and I've put probably one of the most notorious games. Um, for compatibility, even worse than Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, because it was made by Rockstar back in the day, and as a result, it's extremely hard to emulate. And uh, I put a Bugs Life on here, so I'm not sure how these are going to pan out. Obviously, you're still limited to what cores you can get, and some of the stuff functionality wise is a bit weird. Uh, my controller, PS4 controller, currently works, but I have got one of those USB adapters which I plug into the board. When I tried this on the Raspberry Pi, it was a no-go. Um, I got into the game and it literally crapped out on me. So we'll see if the Tinker board can handle this. I also tried this on the Orange Pi with the same amount of success. So if the Tinker board can handle it, it can probably handle most things. Okay. We'll just wait. We'll just uh, what? Okay. Hero or zero? We'll do hero, and then we'll press play. This is one of those games that I played as a kid, um, and believe me, it was super duper fun. Let's just get into the gameplay. We'll skip the cutscene. So, as you guys can probably see, this game, which is one that is notoriously buggy usually, works extremely well. In fact, I'd say it's even playing the, the, the same frame rate as the N64 was. Um, not that I remember the controls very well. But it's one of those games that was always enjoyable to... Uh, to play just because it was open world and it was Rockstar before they became so big with GTA and it's all about killing bugs and finding secrets I me and my brother spent hours and hours and hours on this game just driving around messing about but yeah it runs it runs really really well and if my camera was straight which it isn't my TV's not straight either, which doesn't exactly help. We'll try Bugs Life, and um, if you guys want to see more of what the N64 emulation is like, then let me know in the comment section below because I will do more. Obviously, um, ETA Prime does quite a lot on the Tinkerboard. He's done a bit on the PSX emulation, and I'm not using Crash's image, so I'm just using some other dude's image that's only 2 gigabytes. I can link that below if you like because it does uh, mean you can install it on a 16 gigabyte card because my Kingston for some reason when I format only has like 14.8 gigs and the actual um, the actual space you need is it is I think it has 14.1 and the actual space I need is 14.8 whereas the card I was going to use which is a mixer from China land um, yeah, that one's a no-go, it just doesn't read at all, unlike the Pies, which is really strange, because most of my other devices, in fact, all of them I've used with the mixer cards have worked fine. Uh, so we've got Training Challenge and Anthill. Let's have a look and see what's going on at Flick's Journey, if I can remember the controls again. Welcome to Ant Island. I never actually played a Bugs Life that much. I played on PS1, but not on N64. I didn't even know it was on N64 until I had a look the other night. And again, it's a bit more of an open worldy type game, and it runs really, really well. I'm really impressed. I can't wait to try out like Conqueror's Bad Fur Day and all the others. Um, I've got those downloaded, so I could just copy them over and try them for you guys. I'm not entirely sure what I'm even supposed to be doing here. I think I'm supposed to be killing the wasps. There's a few graphical glitches here and there, and a little bit of popping, but I think that's due to the N64 itself. Uh, a little bit of slowdown. 
but I'm not sure if that's like yeah I don't know I think that might just be my controller so Bugs Life works really really well and then uh, Doom works really well every single Game Boy Advance game I've put on here works really well I'm gonna put some more stuff on here um, and sort out try and get the Wi-Fi up and running things like that but until then if you like this video hit the like button please do subscribe because I will be putting more on this and if there's any games specifically you want to see run on the Tinkerboard then please do let me know below thank you very much for watching cheers hey you guys today we're going to take a look at some N64 emulation run on Tinkerboard I finally got RetroPie working and it took a little bit of time actually I had to use a couple of different images before I got the right one I found one that works and I will link that down below it's going to be uploaded to my Google Drive. Now for those that have 16 gigabyte memory cards you might want to sort of test this one out before you test uh, Crash's Tinkerpie beer or the other Tinkerpie beers um, because they currently do not work on some 16 gigabyte cards the cards that I found work are SanDisk and Kingston but some other Chinese ones like Mixer which work in everything else don't seem to work with Tinkerboard at all Anyway, I'm going to test out a few of the hardest ones today. Um, we're going to try and conquer Bad Fur Day first, and we'll go through a couple of more, a couple of the more difficult ones to emulate. I'll turn the sound up a little bit and see if we can get some sound from it going through. Now, Conquer Vaferno is always notoriously hard to emulate for some reason. It's just one of the, the games that's always been difficult for any device, including some Android phones. Usually we end up with a lot of graphical glitches and some serious slowdown. This is just using the default cores with the default setup. I've not changed anything at all. And as you can see we're running a little bit slowly. Usually this intro is a little longer anyway. And once it gets into the gameplay, sometimes it picks up a little bit, sometimes it doesn't. Everything seems to be rendering okay, mostly okay. Although there doesn't seem to be any sound here. Yeah, the sound is uh, seriously buggy. Unfortunately, I don't think we can skip. We can only skip them once we've seen them once already. So after the jump cut it seems like everything rendered okay apart from the sound and we do seem to be getting some pretty respectable There's a few drops, frame drops, but it's much better than what it usually is and is likely to be quite playable few shadow issues but nothing major, nothing compared with the 
a Raspberry Pi or even the Orange Pi PC. Other than the sound. So I think this could be playable. Anyway, we on to another one that's notoriously hard to emulate, which is Body Harvest. Now this was made by Rockstar, um, I believe, also known as Gremlin Interactive, back way back when. And this one actually for it plays pretty well I've got my PS4 controller hooked up to this um, with the USB adapter and that also works pretty well and as you can see if we can turn the volume up a little bit We've actually got some sound, sound works, and I'd say the game is is pretty playable. Even the ve the vehicles work. Like so. And this is a fully 3D game with vehicles and enemies, and it does pretty well. And the tinder board's not even getting that warm. This didn't run on the Pi or the Orange Pi at all, it just wouldn't run. V Rally, another hit and miss game. This one usually goes into the menus, but then once you get into the gameplay, it's really, really laggy. Look, as I am stuck at the default settings, I haven't changed anything with this image. All I've done is done a basic update, um, basic install, and then an update, and that is it. So let's go to arcade, start, and we'll go for the me and my brother used to play this all the time and usually I'd go for the Citroen so I'm going to go for the Citroen we'll see how the sound does on this as well mm, a little bit glitchy Yeah, this might not be as uh, playable as we hoped. It's quite slow. It's one of those games that sometimes works well, sometimes doesn't. I think this one does work okay on the uh, Orange Pi PC. It doesn't look quite as good as it does on here. Maybe with a few updates this will work much better. But it's promising. And it's probably even playable. If you don't mind a little bit of slowdown. So that works. Diddy Kong Racing definitely works. Uh, the issue with showing these ones is Nintendo likes to take these down. So we'll do. We'll do Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and I'll try and edit the image in such a way that uh, Nintendo doesn't pick it up. So far so good. If we're not doing too bad of a job apart from the audio. And yep, this game is definitely way more playable than it was on the uh, Pi and the PC. Uh, 
on the uh, Orange Pi PC and on the Raspberry Pi are way better. So they have it, guys. There's a few Nintendo 64 games that this that this uh, system can clearly handle, and with a few more updates, who knows what could happen with the Tinkerboard. If all else fails, though, when you set this thing up, just make sure you change the cables, try different cables, different power adapters, and different memory cards, because that really did help me out. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I shall see you very soon. Cheers.